Hi, this is Don Romans with FurnaceFilterTalk.com. I wanted to do a video going over uh, what it's like if you're burning candles. Now, I, I, I don't very often burn candles, but I have. And uh, I noticed that, um, you know, some of the charts I put together, which I pulled together information that uh, candle soot is listed as requiring a MERV 13 filter to remove that from the air. Now, I, I truthfully never would have thought of uh, candle soot as being a, a worrisome issue. So I decided uh, I wanted to put it to the test. So I had a candle. It's a Yankee candle. And I looked up based on the info on the candle. I looked them up online. And uh, typical candles, you know, are made from paraffin wax. Paraffin is a petroleum based. And so I wanted to see, I don't know what that meant or what, you know, what it would do. So I did a test. I put this candle uh, basically in front of, uh, I put it in my air handler and my filter is in my utility room. I live in a small condo. I put this uh, on top of my washing machine, which is essentially in line across from my uh, intake for my air filter. And truthfully, I didn't think it would do anything like for days. I thought this is going to be a pain in the neck test because I'm going to have to keep lighting the candle, you know, and running, you know, running the air through the system and wait days for it to show in, see if it had any effect. Well, I was sure surprised to find out. Let me show you. This is the, this is the, fil what the filter looked like before. Okay. This is the air entering side. This is a new one, by the way, not the one that was in there. This is the one that was basically brand new. And in two hours, it became like this. You can see the difference between the two. You know, this is the new one. This is the one after two hours of having the air go through with the candle, you know, about, I don't know, it's probably four feet away from the air handler. So, you know, it just really amazed me how quickly it blackened this filter. And um, so it tells me that clearly burning candles is an issue that uh, needs to be considered that number one, that soot is getting on your components in your air system. It's getting probably on your furniture. It's getting on the walls, on furniture, everything else. You know, it's going to, it's going to get that soot on there throughout your house. And I truthfully am shocked but uh, I won't be burning candles anymore because of that. Because that filter won't stop it. That's a MERV 8 filter that I had in there. And uh, it requires a MERV 13 to filter that out. And so, you know, so what do you do? Well, there's some options. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to, there is uh, candles that are made from beeswax. And there's soy wax candles that 100%. They got to be 100%, and those would be a better choice than the petroleum-based paraffin wax candles. Now, there are some, they trick you, there are some that say that they're a, a soy wax blend. Well, that's just easy speak for a tiny bit of soy wax in it, so they can say that. Uh, it needs to be 100%. But, you know, if you burn candles in your house... Uh, it's something that you need to take into consideration that you could be doing grave damage to your system. And uh, so you might want to check that out. And I'm going to add a clip in here of the test that I did. I did a video of that and uh, you can see that. But uh, and I'll add some pictures in here, too, that will show you, uh, you know, what the filter looked like before and after. So. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Well, I've come back. It's been, I don't know, it's maybe a couple hours that I've had uh, this candle go in here across from my uh, inlet for my filter. And uh, you, you can see how black the filter is already. So clearly candles are really detrimental to the air filter and air quality. So uh, I'm blown away by how quickly this has blackened that filter. As you can remember, it looked 
more white up here. I'll show you a picture of, well, there's, here's one. Uh, I have down here a new one. But you can see that's what the new one looks like. And that's, that's the one in there now. And this one, this one just looked like like uh, or this one I'm sorry this one looked like this one just a couple hours ago so uh